Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. On the banks of the Red Cedar, there's a school that's known to all. Its specialty is winning, and today, the Spartans will need to play good ball. Spartan Stadium, the green and white, is ready to fight as Michigan State goes for an important home win. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Michigan at Spartan Stadium and we hope you're ready as we've got a great matchup for you and now it's time for the coin talk and it's brought to you by Coke Zero real Coca-Cola taste zero calorie enjoy everything South Florida is kicking off first and we're ready to get this game underway Return. He'll return it from the one. And he's tackled at the 26. Well, the crowd has been waiting for him all day. Cook's big playability about to be on display in front of the home crowd here. He's set to take his first snap as he brings the offense after. And Brad, this kid's reputation precedes him. The entire offense is designed around him. As his performance goes, so will his team. Let's see what he can do in front of this big crowd. Just a complete leader. Michigan State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers welch will be the return man he makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line lags are down and this one might be on the offense receiving team Well, if you want to ruin a drive, first just grab a hold of a defender's jersey. From their own 37-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Left side, nice run there. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He got by a couple of defenders and, and made it to the sticks for the first down. First and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds at the 45. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Two, two, two. I got you. I got you, I got you. 
They'll give it off here. Nice run there as they work the outside. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Around the 30-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Price was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. is out to the tailback on the screen. Ball is loose. Fumble. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. screen that'll be a loss of one not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that and they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here so this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw, almost intercepted. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. They'll bring him down at the 40. Return for a gain of six yards. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Now he's flushed and they got it. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 35 yard line. Second down. He's at midfield. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And down he goes at about the 41. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down.
just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. He's taken down around the 40 yard line. quickly to the tailback and they make the stop at the 35 yard line so they're going to go for it here gets rid of it quickly and that was almost picked and they'll take over on downs Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Hey, we got Mike 50. Mike 50, huh? Run! Run! Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. Gets to around the 42. Call a gain of 12 yards. That'll bring up second and three. I'm trying to collect. Hey, 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 Mike 50, Mike 50, Mike 50. Ready! They'll make the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. Next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Hand off up the middle, and he's tackled at the 32. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up fourth and 13. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Tackle made at the 34. Well, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Breaks away from one, and now he's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He guns it to the left, and he's tackled right away. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. You ain't doing nothing. Hey, nice. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. They'll bring him down right around the 30. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down.
gets out to around the 18. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. The middle for a nice game. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Go out there, check it out, it's out there. Three down, three down. Three nine, three nine. Two four. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Twice the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Here's the eighth play of the series. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. South Florida is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Bulls are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 3-0, USF. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. With a pitch. He's got the corner. And they push him out at the 49. That's good enough for another Michigan State. From the 49 yard line, first down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's finally brought down at the 10-yard line. And the tailback almost broke it there. That's just being a phenomenal athlete. He took the handoff on the draw play and made some pretty impressive moves and got a ton of yards. First and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Gets out to about the nine yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Run, 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 run. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Gain of five yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And out come the big hefties. Carries it again, and he's tackled in the backfield. No gain on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback.
They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Throws it deep. And they were ready for the blitz that time. Well, I tell you what, I would think twice about bringing the house like that against this offense. They handled it very well and turned it into a big game. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Roger, Roger. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Yes. Three. Slings it. And he's taken down right around the 42 yard line. At the tackle at the 42 yard line. That brings up second and nine. him down in the backfield. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. He makes it to the 42-yard line. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle made right around the 20. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20. Let's go. Mike 50, Mike 50. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Brought down around the 41-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. Ball on the 41. He makes his way to about the 32. That brings up second and one. run there. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Tackle at the 24. the ball for a nice game. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. That'll bring up 32. This is the eighth play of this drive. Good outside run there. Nice third down yardage off the option. And more importantly, enough for a new set of downs. 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 12. Gets to about the 11-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. He's tackled at the one. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now, you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. They hand it off. Touchdown, Spartans. For Langford, he moves past the 100-yard mark. We've seen this guy dominate over the course of today's game, and this drive has pretty much told the story. I mean, this offense is just steamrolling right down the field. He makes the PAT. It was an 11-play, 80-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So our score, 10-3. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Pierre gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on their own 29. Down he goes at the 35. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Green nine, green nine. Throws incomplete. Well, that's a great play here by the defense getting pressure on the quarterback, and the result is a bad throw. These are the kind of plays that can really impact the football game because the defense can build some confidence after getting after a quarterback like that. And they'll get him in the backfield. Third and 14, ball on their own 31. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. Seems like every game, this guy's in the offense's backfield, bringing guys down for a loss. He's just got a knack for making plays. the 35-yard line. The Spartan staff right now has got to be smiling because what they're putting out on the field is working against this defense. It's been a fun battle between this defense and this offense. We thought the quarterback might be the one to be able to make some big plays today, but up to this point, it's been the running game. Michigan State is up seven. There's the strike complete. He's taken down at the 38. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 38. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Throws it in a hurry. He's out of bounds at the 45. Game seven on the play. Fourth down. Check, a minute check, left in the half. Check, 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 hey, hey, check 24, watch 24. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. <laughs> and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. 
Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. South Florida will take their first time out of the half. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught with room to work. He's knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. That's a gain of 16. First down. From the 49-yard line. First down. Got it complete, and he's out of bounds. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires up to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Bulls use their second timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 23. Caught and big hit there to stop him. With the catch. That's a gain of three on the play. Easy, easy. Second and seven. can't get away from the pressure. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. He gets it up, and it's wide left. No good. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan State is up a score. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. 10-3, Michigan State. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The Spartans find themselves in an unexpected battle, to say the least. And this is why Coach flipped out this week, trying to get the attention of his team, and it didn't work. <laughs> no, it didn't work. And coaches flip out for different reasons. And they usually have a plan in their head and why they do it, and they're usually trying to get their guys to feel a certain way or, you know, take something a little bit more serious. It didn't work. It didn't take. The message didn't take, and, and, and these guys didn't come out ready to play, and, and now all of a sudden you look and you're in a ball game. And so, that, that's so what the do problem. you do about it now? So what do you do? Well, now you come in the locker room and you go, okay, guys, you're dumb. You didn't listen to me. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't want to know the truth that you could lose to these guys. And now you're in a dogfight the whole second half. Let's come out. Let's put a statement up. Let's do what you're capable of doing because you're way better than this team. It's pretty simple. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Michigan State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Here's the give. He makes it to the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 30. taken down the offense gets a first down here and you got to give them some credit but really this is more about the defense when, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback especially when they're passing the football and try to get your own offense the ball back and that time they let their own offense down and they get nice yardage on that run that'll make it second and seven second down and seven coming up here ball on the 39 yard line And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Tries to get around the corner. And they'll return this one all the way. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. First and 10, ball on the 36. Michigan State is up by a touchdown. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. The Bulls quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. but knocked out of bounds for a short loss. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it fourth and four. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Michigan State is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up. And he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And he's 
taken down at the 25-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. for the first down. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Cody throws the fight. Cody throws the fight. Green nine, green nine. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Steps out of bounds at about the 49. Gain of four yards. That'll make it fourth and two. On the catch, and he steps out. The catch. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 45. Right 34, right 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Green nine, green nine. Go four. Go four. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. Let's go. That makes it first and 10. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Davis, the intended receiver on the play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34. Three down, three down. 34 is the fight. 34 is the fight. Tackle at the 37. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield, this guy just flies all over the field. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. All day, just like that. Just Green like nine. that. He gets hit out of bounds right around the six-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. This is the 12th play of this drive. He's tackled at the three yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the three. Down he goes at the two-yard line. That makes it And this is the 14th play of the drive. Touchdown, Bulls. And that was a
was a perfectly executed play there by the offense. And the option is so tough to defend, especially right near the goal line. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Buckeyes entered the game ranked sixth in the country, but feeling the heat to hold their lofty spot. And for Ohio State, they're looking to win two in a row. This may be tied at 17. Thanks, Reese. 13 10 here. US South Florida lines up for the kickoff. Number nice kick, plenty of distance. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. The Bulls have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Michigan State is up by three. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on their own 25. Short pass, middle of the field. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. Bring him down behind the line. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Oh, excellent punt. Welch fields it at the 27. Oh, what a hit. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's got it with room to run. Out of bounds at the 40. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. a great tackle at the 41 yard line through three quarters now and still the defenses are shining Michigan State in front 13-10 Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Once it all, going deep. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. to the 40. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Well, neither offense has really found a rhythm in this one right now. The defenses have had a lot to do with that, obviously. They're giving different looks. They're blanketing the receivers. They're slowing down the running game. Oh, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. Michigan State is up a field goal. He's looking for his man. Needed that play, and he dropped it. Number 25 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Fires 
was quick to an open man. He dropped it. Number 25 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. That'll make it fourth and ten. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the ten. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's tackled at the 31. Clemens brings him down at the 31-yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 46. He's got 100 yards in the game now. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. Green nine, green nine. Four. Throws it. Four. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 46. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down right around the 34. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Three nine, three nine. Makes it to the 24. Gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Mike 34, Mike 34. Green nine, green nine. Yes. Scrambling around. Dives forward. This whole drive has been an exhibition in ball control by this offense. Everything seems to be working right now. This is the eighth play of this drive. Focus, defense, focus. And they'll get him in the backfield. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 15. Green nine, green nine. The 10. The 5. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll take it from the two. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Hey, 
Makes it out to about the 36. Call the gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He passes it, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. Makes it to the 37. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Throws it a coverage, just picked off. He's at the 20. Touchdown, USF! the play by the defender that was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown and he tacks on the extra point let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update the Commodores were ranked 22nd now they'll be lucky to hold on to a spot, any spot, in the poll. And for UAB, they start the season with a victory. The Blazers finish on top, 28-23. In another game, the Cornhuskers were ranked 20th. That performance showed that they are capable of moving much higher. There was never any room to breathe in this game. The Cornhuskers slide out with a four-point win. 24 to 13 in our game here. South Florida to kick. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. And he is drilled at the 32-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackle made right around the 40. Hill off the left side. He's tackled at about the 39 yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at the 49. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Around the 38 yard line. From the 38 yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. A man down, and he's in some pain right now. That brings up second and five. They bring the quarterback down. 
And for Lee, he gets to the quarterback again. That brings up third and 14. It's third down and 14 yards to go now after that setback by the sack. Just under three to go in regulation. Going deep, lays it out there, and it's caught. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. What a catch and a big touchdown from the tight end. I'll tell you, this tight end is a big-time football player. He might like to talk a little bit out there on the field, but he has the type of game to back it up. They'll go for two in this situation. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Buckeyes came into the game ranked sixth. After that performance, they're going to fall like Wiley e. Coyote off a cliff. And for San Diego State, they've won two straight. Ruffins, a determined runner who hit those holes at just the right time and ran for more than 100 yards. The Aztecs win it 24-17. Meanwhile, the Tigers came into the day ranked 12th. All those who said they weren't that good, they'll have plenty of ammunition. And for FSU, their season starts with a win. The Seminoles grab the 12-point win. Wow, you can feel the shockwave caused by that upset all the way to our game. Sends it sailing downfield. Michigan State ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he hits him hard at the 18. So the sack makes this a second and long. Three down, three down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Green nine, green nine. Go. Blue four. Blue four. Go. Might have been some early movement up front. False start offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start as a lineman will see Still movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Go down, go down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Green nine, green. Hey, Brad, I really don't understand what the offense is doing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they have the lead, and we're late in the game, and they're still throwing the football. And I understand sometimes you want to try to rub it into your opponent's face, but here they're stopping the clock and giving the other team a chance to get the ball back. And he's hit immediately. Michigan State's going to take their first time out of the half. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Spartans have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. He steps out around the 43-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reversed the call on the field. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Hey, hey, 
Just under two to go in the game. Throws. He can't hang on. Incomplete. Number 14 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. Mike 50, Mike 50. Ready. Run. Fires it out. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. That's good for a game of 19 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 42-yard line, first down. Quick throw, picked off. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the 27. Oh, man, you talk about heartbreak. Cook's attempt at leading that last-minute drive, and it ends in an interception. A tough, tough way to end this game after all the momentum seemed like it was in their favor. You've got to really feel for this kid after that throw. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 26. The Spartans call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Pierre on the run. The Spartans using their third and last timeout. They get nice yardage on that run. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 24-21, USS. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.